Welcome. If you've come this far, I take it you're very, very keen on finding out more on how to go about becoming a part of this great firefighting family that I'm a part of across ENZ. Now what I recommend is that you watch a video of the test itself from start to finish, just so you can see all the aspects and different stages involved with the test day itself. The second part I would uh, like to show you is a generic program, gym program, that you can follow and help prepare yourself before you turn up for the day to give yourself the best chance. Ready to go? Let's get into it. When going to a job, I love that sense of like that adrenaline rush that you feel, the tones go and you're, you're getting to the track and putting your uniform on and you just get that really real sense of oh, let's go, let's do it and yeah, it's good. As we um, turn up to everything from flooding to medical calls to car accidents, it's unlimited and it changes every day with the weather. Yeah, it's awesome. You develop a really good bond, you make, have, you make jokes with each other, you uh, cook, cook dinner together, you sit down and have meals, so you have each other's backs, whether it's at a job or on station, so yeah, it's a really good feeling. My family, um, the organisation allows me, uh, with the shift schedule, to drop them off at school, um, pick them up, go to sports events, um, and just spend a little bit more quality time with them, uh, which I certainly love. Keep going. Well done. How are you feeling? Karen, you've just completed the job-related task to become a recruit firefighter. How do you think you went? Um, I found it challenging, but I think I did all right. So we've got eight, eight minutes, 15 seconds to do the test. So um, let's go through the recording and see how you went. So we're going to that cone over there. Yep. I remember it was always good to uh, get a good start on this hose run. Yeah. Get definitely. it going so that it makes it easier for the end of it. So remember the more it drags on the ground, the harder it's going to get. So lean forward, pump the legs. Yeah, the more momentum you can get here, the easier it is when it starts dragging on the ground. And I think it's good having the trainer the there pushing you along. And Beautiful. Making it look easy. Giving you that encouragement there. On the ground, out to the first cone for the transition, and back to me. Each of those transitions is that period for which you can recover. Right, so thinking about what the next part of the evolution is, and to sort of give those muscle sets a bit of a break. So we're pulling the line up till the bucket gets to the top, then we hold it for seven seconds. So this bit here I found okay. difficult, just because of the grip strength. So um, like I found doing farmer carries, like weighted carries, it's good to get my grip strength up so when I'm holding that rope, you know, I've got a good tight grip. Yeah, I think also the, uh, the training outside of uh, doing, doing this, um, like for me it was uh, a bit of CrossFit and also just going to my local gym and trying to build up that strength in obviously the shoulder area there yeah. for that pull. It's definitely upper body, especially for women. I think we lack upper body as opposed to guys, so definitely good to get into the gym to do your upper body strength. All right, so our next part was that weighted step box, remember? So we put an additional 18 kg weight on top of that uh, BA set, and it's 25 repetitions up and down those steps. So it's important that you just keep pacing yourself. So you've actually got a really good pace on there. It's looking really good, and so um, at that sort of pace, you'd have no trouble with the time. What sort of part did you find that the fatigue sort of started setting in? Um, yeah, definitely part way through these. Right. That extra weight, you can feel it. So I remember doing uh, the stairs here and um, the lactic acid in your quads right there was uh, sort of building up. So to prep for that, I did a fair bit of stair work. Yeah, I definitely think this is where the cardiovascular part kicks in. <laughs> this, um, this anaerobic Part, you get a real spike <laughs> here. Yeah. Do you guys agree? <laughs> yeah. That's Definitely when doing, the lungs start burning. Yeah. <laughs> doing a bit of uh, training that sort of around 10 minutes of sort of high intensity work is yeah. sort of ideal for this yep. sort of preparation. And back over to the slide here. Like you guys said before, this here is good just to just get your, Catch your breath. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get ready for the next thing. 
same as before, but when we get it to the top, we want to hold it with the other arm. Second time round with this ladder simulation is, I think, tricky because you're starting to fatigue. So that's when you've got to really make sure of your, your grip, do nice big pulls down and do that hand over hand yeah, movement, one, which helps. Two. So that's that seven second hold, which seems like an eternity. And um, as soon as that seven seconds is called, get the drum down, that gets the weight off the arms, again back out to that transition. Okay, so that's again that recovery period. So everything's done at a, at a fast walk. It's important that BA set weighing 16 kgs, plus all of the structural gear that you're not running, which is putting extra stresses on your body. Out to the far cone and back again. So that uh, coiled hose there, that's a 50 metre run. So you're 25 metres out, 25 metres back, Looking and good. that's 17 kg. So that lugs are at shoulder height, Just a fast and walk. the coil delivery is actually off your chest. Around the cone. Holding the uh, hose out here can be a back little bit difficult, me. so you've got to make sure you do a bit of training with uh, holding a bit of weight out front, maybe a, a barbell back plate or some dumbbells. Hose yeah. on the ground. She on a wheel, so did we also... Uh, it's common we did groceries, so I just held my grocery bags out <laughs> and just oh, yeah? carried those along. So that recovery time, transition, back to the step box. So that's the same as the earlier one, except there's no additional weight there. Four and a half minutes, you're going well. So it's important that your feet are landing square on the um, treads and that your heels are right up and your toes are into the front of the tread. So 25 repetitions, same as before, but without that additional weight. And that's a really good pace, so if you can sort of maintain that cadence right through, you're actually in for a pretty good time. So I guess the battle here is, um, is the mental side of it, and I sort of found that uh, challenging uh, when I was doing it. Um, so there's a battle within yourself. And that's, at this point you know you're sort of reaching the end so you can start yeah, mentally really pushing, pushing through yeah. to, get, to get to the finish. Yeah. 25 is a lot of stairs. Mm. <laughs> seems like it takes, takes its time. Yeah, it seems like it's ages when you're yeah. actually doing it. So you can see I had a very arduous, difficult job here having to keep time. So this is another horizontal pull, again it's that upper body strength that we talk about. So that, that uh, weight, 18 kgs, goes straight to the top. This one here's not bad I don't think, like it, if you can keep it smooth, keep your hand over hand, smooth movement. Yeah. Once you get it moving, you keep it going yeah. to reach the top. Yeah. You don't need to hold this one so it's a quick yeah. up and down. See about this time my lungs were sort of burning. <laughs> yeah. And knowing the fact that we had a dummy drag to come up next, um, I was sort of mentally preparing myself because um, that was probably going to be the biggest challenge that I was going to face. Yeah. Um, because I am going to be uh, leaning back with my quads, pulling with my hamstrings, um, and 90 kgs to drag. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty challenging. Definitely coming to the dummy is yeah. the hardest part. This is all hamstring glute work here. Yeah just really pushing through because this is where thing. you really fatigue. Yeah. So going out to the cone is all right. You know, you got your momentum going and then yeah. you've got to you get around down. that cone. So you, you come to a, a halt almost. So you want to keep moving to get around that cone, I find. And yeah, once, once you know you're around that cone, it's just a matter of pushing through and getting just getting home. to the end, yeah. yeah. So often you find that with the dummy dragging like that, that puts a whole lot more friction, makes it harder. You know, if people can learn to actually lift it a bit, it make, tends to make it a little bit easier. Everything is burning here. Yeah. <laughs> the thighs in particular, yeah. the quads are burning, you're just like, where's that line? Yeah. Reach deep down and yeah. get it through. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> So what we've got to do here, there's the four evolutions. We've got to do a shoulder press, a grip strength, deadlift, and press up. So we might as well crank straight into it. Okay, so in time with the cadence, up. Three. Perfect. Grip strength. So nice and relaxed down beside you, pulling as hard as you can. Beautiful. Next thing we've got is the deadlift. 
lift straight up. Quickly, as much as you can. That's it, that's it. Beautiful. Our last one is um, press-ups. Yep, right angles, up, and then times the cadence. Three, four, five. What happens when these, all these scores get collated, they get sent to our National Recruitment Manager, and um, she'll be in touch with you as we go on to the next stage. Well done. Thank you, Rich. The test itself is physically demanding, but that's because the job is too. So it's very important that when you come along, you are prepared as best you can. Hence, I've come up with a very generic program for you to follow for the next four to six weeks in order to help prepare you as best you can before you turn up on the day. First things first, remember before any exercise routine, I highly recommend that you stretch and warm yourself up, preferably at the beginning, but it's okay at the end as well. The treadmill, this is going to help with the aerobics and fitness side of the test day, as well as the weighted, unweighted stair climb and the dummy drag at the end of things. I recommend 10 minutes, speed 8 to 12 throughout. If you don't like treadmill like some people I know, it's okay, you can do the running outside, beach, field, up the hills, up the stairs, and you're good to go from there. Next up on our program we have the rower. The rower is going to be great for the leg muscles, which are going to be great for the dummy drag, any of the aerobic fitness side that require using these muscles. It's also going to be good for the back muscles for the haul and loft. And the way you grip the handle here, good for the forearms, which is going to also help with the uh, grip strength test. On the rower, we're going to be doing 10 minutes or 2,000 metres, whichever, whichever one comes first. And you want to be rowing the strokes per minute at about 28, give or take. Now, Amy's got great form here. Things to remember is allow the handle to pass your knees before they bend and just keeping your back nice and straight and elbows nice and tucked in give you that strength on your back very good next up we're finally into our resistance part of our program we've got the bench press now the muscle groups this will be targeting is pretty much all your upper body but primarily you're looking around your chest area your shoulders and your arms and those are going to be great, not just for the dummy drag and giving you that strength to hold it up, but it's also going to really help with the big ladder pull three storeys high, and that'll give you the strength for all that. If you don't have a bench press again or you're not at a gym, you can still do press ups at home or at the park. And if you need it weighted, use a backpack, chuck some stuff in it, or if you've got little ones running around, get them to jump on your back as you do a few. So that's looking good, Amy. Things to note your feet can be up or down making sure your lower back is nice and flat on the bench. The bars usually have markings and they will help position where your hands need to be. And again, with up and down, you only need to go down to about this height from your chest to the bar. We're gonna be doing four sets, 10 to 12 reps, two minute break in between. Next to the program, we've got uh, shoulder presses. Muscles we're targeting here, are again, quite high up on the body, primarily your shoulders, back of your neck, the trapezius muscles, the upper chest. These muscle groups are going to be great for when you're doing the ladder pull. It's going to really help with the dummy drag, with the shoulder strength. If you don't have this bar at home, you can still do the same range of motion using the uh, potato bags, onion bags, flour. Now this is a 10 kg bar. Ideally you want to work your way up to a 20 kg bar, which is what you'll do on the test. Four sets, 10 to 12 reps again. Feet should be positioned nice and shoulder width parallel. Slight bend in the knees, strong core. Nice and tight, up and down. The leg press, great exercise for this area down, covering all of your legs. Powerhouse muscles there, the front of your legs, the quads, the hamstrings. They are gonna be really, really good to get strong because you're gonna really need it for the dummy drag. They're also going to really help with the step up, the weighted step ups, and particularly at the end with the deadlifts. Okay, so you're going to need that strength there. If you don't have this machine at home, which you know, I doubt most of us do, you could do free body squat or lunges. And to add weight, you could uh, have a couple of buckets of water just to allow that resistance as you're doing those exercises. Technique, feet, they only need to be about an inch from the top and about shoulder width apart. When you're coming down, the shin part needs to be parallel with the ground or the floor. And when going up, please do not lock your knees. Okay, very, very important. 
And this is the one, two second pace that we want. Uh, again, with the four sets, you want about 10 to 15 reps and two minute break in between. Coming up to the end of our program, we have bicep curls. This is gonna be great if you get that quite strong for the hose carry, which is a 50 meter carry across the yard holding quite a heavy piece of hose. Also, it's gonna be great for your grip strength and it's always gonna assist with holding up the 90 kg dummy, dragging that across the, the yard as well. If you don't have a bar of certain weight at home, again, no issue, you can still simulate the same action and posture using buckets of water, uh, potato bags again, onion bags, even uh, 1.5 bottles filled with water just to start you off with some progression in terms of weight. Coming back to the technical side, again with the feet at shoulder width, the knees must always have that slight bend in it. Again, always tighten the core, make sure that's always strong, back nice and straight, shoulders back, hold your elbows where they are, and continue that flexing or that contracting of the forearms up and down. Again, four sets, 10 to 12 reps, two minute gaps in between, and don't forget to breathe. Okay, here we go. Second and last exercise of the day, ab crunches. This exercise focuses a lot on your midsection, because that is what we need strong for all the exercises we do. Now as you see, Amy's nice and flat on the floor, her feet are down, knees are nice and tight together. All you're really doing is coming up about yay height and only going down without your shoulder blades touching the floor. She's looking straight up, which is great. Basically all you're doing is making sure that you're leading with your chin every crunch that you're coming up. Her hands are behind her ears, not her head. We've all seen what we do with our head at times. Keep that nice and strong. And again, four sets, 10 to 15 reps this time. Don't forget the minute and a half, two minute break in between. And always breathe as Amy's making it look good. Here we go, last exercise of our program, the bicycle. This is a great exercise. It's gonna cover pretty much everything for aerobic fitness, but specifically because of your leg muscles you're using, the steps, the deadlift, and dummy drag. You know, 90 kg dummy and having that leg strength there is gonna be great. Unless you got this at home, just take your normal bicycle for a ride around the park, town, uh, to give you the same workout that this is going through. When you set yourself up, you want the seat to be at hip height, and that allows you for the right extension on your, on your legs as they're going around the pedals. We want 10 minutes, at around about 60 RPMs or revolutions, that's how many times your feet are going round. And the resistance of how hard you're working at around six to 10. Feel good so far? Too easy? It's a good way to finish off our program, isn't it? Lastly guys, look, you can be as fit as you like, you can be as strong as you like, but you still need that mental fortitude to help get you through the program. So stay committed, work hard, mentally push yourself, and you can do it. I did it, and now I'm in the best job in the world. I get all the time with my family, can't beat it. So I hope to see you there on the day. Doing the PPT, it is challenging at the time, but once you get into the job, everything that you do in, in the um, job-related tasks, it's all relevant, so it all becomes easier. I learned that if I actually push myself, um, those challenges are gonna take me to the next level. And that next level for us is get into the organisation. I'd say definitely uh, if you're thinking about it, go ahead and uh, give it a go. It's one of the best jobs I've ever had. It's the best job in the world, so. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs>